Well, the search for missing is continuing in western India after heavy monsoon rains inundated residential areas across the region. More than 110 people have been confirmed dead, and officials warn that the toll is likely to climb. Rescue teams using borrowed boats and rubber rafts picked up stranded villages from the rising waters and took them to safety. So far, more than 100,000 people have been rescued from nearly 900 villages. But not even those on high ground were safe. After weeks of heavy rain, the saturated ground on this hillside liquefied and gave way, wiping out a village below. The torrent of mud struck around 5.30 in the morning. Witnesses say many people were engulfed and swept away as they tried to flee. Others were still asleep, unaware of the wave of debris bearing down on them. There were five people inside, my mother, my brother, his wife and two children, a boy and a girl. Only the boy's body has been found. There's still no trace of the rest. The National Disaster Response Force said they had already recovered more than 40 bodies, but they fear for at least 50 people who are still missing in the sea of debris. There's little hope that anyone trapped under the mud would have survived. Many bodies were washed about a kilometre from here. We recovered bodies which we found stuck amongst the trees downstream. My team is engaged in rescue operations now, in places where we're getting the foul smell of bodies or where the villagers are pointing out. The army has been brought in to help. As the search continues, anxious relatives wait for news. All too often, anxiety gives way to grief. India's Weather Bureau forecasts heavy rainfall to continue for the next few days and has issued red alerts for several regions. DW's Manita Chaudhry is following the story for us from Delhi. Good to see you. Uh, what is the latest you can tell us about the flooding? Well, the latest still is, as the report mentions, the department has predicted that heavy rainfall will continue for some days to come. The red alerts continue. And yes, the rescue operations, the rescue and relief operations are still going on. The National Disaster Response Force and the Army have formed different rescue teams that are operating in different areas. But the rescue operations are also facing trouble because of the raised water level. Many have died and many are still missing. This is a time of year where you do see flooding and landslides in India. Is there anything different about this monsoon season? Well, yes, you're right. Our coastal regions do face a lot of these flooding yeah, every monsoon season, east and west both. And then we're talking about the state of Maharashtra. We're talking about the western coastal region. But uh, even as the authorities are saying, including the chief minister of Maharashtra, that even though heavy rainfalls at this time of the year are nothing new, but what is happening right now is unimaginable because reportedly this is the highest rainfall that the state of Maharashtra has received in the month of July in almost four decades. Well, experts are linking the floods to climate change, and that's they say that it's causing the monsoon fr uh, season to increase in frequency and also in intensity, as you were just saying. How big of an issue is climate change in the public debate in India? Well, yes, of course, our linking was what we are seeing right now in Maharashtra to climate change. But the thing is that as experts and climate, right, uh, climate change activists uh, always say that it's always uh, during disasters like this, when disasters like these strike, that we start talking about climate change and the government really doesn't feature climate change on the policies or the reforms that we need for the scene uh, in national discourse and that we do need more focus on that. DW's Manita Chaudhry reporting for us there from Delhi. Thank you.